from the outset the walking bus was going to be parent led and we needed parents to be able to run the bus parents sign up on an app called Sign Up Genius. We list all the days that we're hoping to run the walking bus and we ask parents to note on that which days their children are going to take part and then we also ask them to volunteer one in every four journeys to help themselves. Not everybody can give up a day a week of their time each week to run the bus, that's just not practical especially if both parents are working, um, but if you can keep a hard core of people who really want the bus to keep going and who can work together and put that commitment in, I think that's the secret, and then be backed up by a, a wider group of, of parents that can support the bus sometimes. It's a big community thing for me. Um, it's The school has its own community but that then branches out elsewhere across the city and maybe people don't have families who are able to help them out then it becomes even more important for friends to do that and I think doing something like the walking bus is a big part of the community. Well it's lovely to see them um, all being such strong walkers, you know, hurrying down the hill. Um, they certainly don't hang about and I think it is lovely for the children to have that time together before school starts and they get swept up in all the, the lessons and the full-on day to actually just walk down with their friends and they chat, they, they have such a lovely time. And for some of them they're making friends with other year groups because at the moment it's some of the children are from year one so they're actually getting to see some of the older children as well which is really nice and they're getting to learn more road safety, they're getting to know how to look after other people, they're getting to know some of the adults, other adults in their sort of social group as well. When I first got involved, um, I was surprised, I suppose, about the, the kind of um, background support you needed to get the bus off the ground. So things like making sure that the bus was insured, making sure that um, all parents had uh, DBS checks. The school's trust has agreed to cover the insurance side of things. The school has also done DBS checks for us. You know, that, that's needed anyway for parents to accompany children on trips. So although they, then they don't need to be involved in the day-to-day -day running of the bus, they've been very supportive. And then also carrying out a risk assessment. And Baines were really helpful there in providing a framework for doing a risk assessment. Myself and a couple of other parents walked the route and just walking each step of the way to see where there were risks and issues that, that really helped me to feel more confident about how we would actually practically run the bus. Um, the council also provided us with high-vis bibs and they also really help because you can keep an eye on all the kids, you can see them very easily and it makes the walking bus very visible to traffic. Well, anything we can do to reduce traffic, um, the number of cars, that's a benefit to the children too. And I think they're learning so much about how to help the environment as well, and they know that this is a good thing. Um, so it ties in with what they're learning as well. Parents can get the time back, or they go to work, or they're able to go home and look after their other children, and they know that their children get into school safe and happy. I think it's great that some of the younger ones who aren't at school yet come along on it because it then becomes normal for them starting them young and trying to keep it going as they move through school and others come through is really important. And keeping it publicised in the school newsletters, um, through parents chatting in the playground saying, oh have you tried this, come and join. There is a responsibility with the bus. Once you're providing this service, you do have to keep it going and you, it has to run on the days you said it will. But once you've got the walking bus set up, it pretty much runs itself. You've got a committed group of people that are enjoying it, getting something out of it and are willing to help each other. If one person's got sick kids or if someone can't be there that day, you know, people are able to fill in for each other, so that's great.